am I using a heat gun on my this guy? Pro tip. I guess going along with that uh, Pro Tip Tuesday, kind of had this thought. There's a guy out there, his channel, his channel's name is Grumpy One. He's got a unique style of how he does his videos. He was talking about working on his plow and how different ways to, at least for like the plow that we've got here, the V plows, where it has that center pin, people tapping out these holes right here, trying to be able to get grease in there and I realized early on because I knew what type of a hole it was that you didn't you don't tap something like that out I mean you're introducing filings in there you're taking more stuff apart why do it if you don't have to when I first picked up my plow threw it on the truck one of the first things that I had heard was I heard the thing squeaking when it was scooping and pulling back what'd you do and I questioned the guy I'm like does that pin even greased and he goes well I don't know let's take it in the shop and check it out and it, they do their job. Because they know all they sold you was a guaranteed piece. Their job is to put the plow on your truck and make sure it functions. And it functioned, but in my opinion, it wasn't ready to go out the door. So what he did is he took a hydraulic grease gun with a, with a needle fitting on it. And he stuck it in the holes and he says, this is the only way you can do it. Now I'm thinking to myself, really? Now why is that? Do you really have to have a needle piece to put grease in your plow? It just, it didn't make sense. Because not everybody's going to have a hydraulic, you know, fed um, grease gun. And I don't have one and I've never needed one. Well, I did kind of think about an electric one, but scratch that. Too much money. For what it is. I mean, you just grease stuff. You know, way back when, they didn't have electric and, and battery-operated grease gums. Why have them now? To kind of get back on, the, on the, the topic. So he was talking about how you don't need that little needle piece. You just basically flat grease it. So you take the, the, the end and put it up against that portion of the plow, and you can get grease in there. Now, the funny thing is, is that I never thought about doing a video like that because, well, I mean... There are just certain things, I guess, that don't come across my mind where, man, I've done that all along, except my variation might be a little different, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have, like, all kinds of, like, stuff in the garage, obviously. I mean, you can see. There's just stuff everywhere. But I've got 3 8 fuel line. The 3 8 fuel line is pretty much what the diameter of the threads are for my grease gun. Now, I've been doing this for years since I've had this plow, that what I did is I cut off about a three quarter inch piece of that hose and you just slide it over and what that does is it kind of creates like a, a seal, I guess you could say, against that you know portion of the plow. I'm gonna set up the camera to see if we can capture the grease coming out so that you understand what I'm talking about, both in the retractive position like the plow is in right now and I also do it when it's in the scoop position. Uh, and then you grease it again and kind of like just gets grease in different areas on that pin. So that you can see, hopefully, the grease actually coming out. So it might be a little tough to kind of film this. Grease actually coming out of here, but give it a shot. Really simple and easy, just take this piece and because it has that flat section, it creates a seal around the end. And that way you're putting minimal effort into actually, you know, putting grease into here. So, two, three, four, five, six. So just like any other type of, you know, piece that you grease. Piece that you grease. With a grease gun. You basically wait until you see the grease start to come out and then you stop. After every time I plow a storm where I know that I've actually kind of abused this portion of the plow and that's when I'm you know breaking up piles because when you think about it there is enough of a gap there where snow can get into these grooves and basically start pushing you know all that grease that you're throwing in there out 
And when that happens, you've got no protection. So after every storm, that hinge pin right there, that center pin, because it's greasable, it takes what? A minute to grease that pin? And it's so well worth it. Even though it's not Tuesday, got the nice backdrop right there, Pro Tip Tuesday. I actually thought, watching his video, that he was gonna show how he did it. He never did, so I kinda like, you know, gave him a little nudge, like, hey, how about your next video, you show us how you do that. Grumpy one, I'm talking to you. Get your video out there. There are like certain things that I guess you think are common sense, or maybe just, I guess people just don't realize, but I don't realize that people don't realize. That makes sense? Enough rambling. I think the whole point was, is I never would have done this video if it wasn't for Grumpy One. And I hope he does put a video out there because he might have a different way of doing it. I like the way that I've been doing it, using that three quarter inch length of 3 8 hose. So that was just a pro tip Tuesday, even though it's not Tuesday. What is it? Say Thursday? I don't even know what day it is. You can tell he's an intelligent guy. He does his research and he thinks about things. So, you know, not you know, not like I do. I I, I don't think about anything. I don't research nothing. Not just kidding.